In today's episode, we unbox Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, a game of dinosaur ranching by Scott Alms, published by Game on Games. Stick around. You're listening to the Beans and Dice podcast, a podcast about how we game. Welcome back, folks. Thanks for sticking around. I'm Carlos. We're the Beans and Dice podcast, a podcast about how we game. And today, I'm unboxing Tiny Epic Dinosaurs in preparation for our playthrough video of Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. Let's take a peek at what I got here. It's a game of dinosaur ranching by Scott Alms. I picked it up at Armada Games, my local game purveyor, Temple Terrace, Florida, or Tampa, Florida. In Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, you are dino ranchers running large scale operations on a remote tropical island. Dinosaurs are bred and sold to the highest bidders for use in popular high thrill theme parks, but ranching these prehistoric beasts is hard and dangerous work. Do you have what it takes to outranch your opponents and operate the most successful dinosaur ranch? For one to four players, plays in 30 to 60 minutes, ages 14 and up is what it says on the box. I'm just not sure if that's accurate. I think it has to do more with the components than the gameplay. You'll also notice folks that not only do I have the Tiny Epic Dinosaurs game, but I also picked up the game mat, which is the official game mat uh, to help ease the, the game itself. We'll open that next. Inside the box lid, it's a beautiful image of a dinosaur, uh, but it's a well done, thick, thick box, very thick box. This is gonna last. What I love about the Tiny Epic series of games is their size allows for really taking them anywhere you wanna go. This is the rule book, total of 18 pages, 19 pages worth of rules. Here's some of the art design on the rear. Here's the artwork on the front. Get into some of the rule book itself. Got your components, prologue, game setup, and it goes into the game overview, how to collect resources, how to assign your ranchers. Wow, a lot of a uh, lot of text, but a lot of iconography, retrieving your ranchers, arranging ranchers, feeding your dinos, uh, what to do with escaping dinos, how to breed dinosaurs, uh, research card details, refresh for the next round, end game scoring, which is the most important thing. And then after page 14, it gets into solo play. So I guess the entire rule set is only up to 13 pages. Solo play is encompassed in, rule, in pages 14 and 15. Uh, 16 and 17 are also solo. 18 is solo. So you can see that majority of the rule book is regular, but there's a good chunk for solo play. And then some frequently asked questions. So there's a view of the rule book itself. Uh, these are mini cards. You can see, I'll show you in the glare that they are linen finish. Good quality cards. I can see that so far. I like that they have a white border that so prevents that dog earring of the the, uh, the black borders where it makes it easy to tell what a card is because over time they'll wear out. To the front of the cards, you got some contracts with the purple border. Those are private contracts. These are your regular contracts, just your standard contracts or public. And I'm not quite sure what these are. It looks like research cards. That's right, these are the research cards. There's the back of the research card. Here's the front. Examples of things you can research, like enclosure upgrades, laboratory upgrades, breeding. Oh, this looks like so much fun. This artwork is gorgeous, is it not? I mean, look at that, it's like fun artwork. Those are your research cards, continued into some dinogenic research. Here's the Dilophosaurus, everyone's favorite. Spitting dinosaurs, <laughs> very cool. Uh, I'm excited about getting this played. And then finally, you have your rival ranchers for the solo play, the book says. Rival ranchers for solo play. Those are the cards. We have dino meeples. Oh, look at that pile of dinos. Let's go through some of these. Let's take a peek at these beautiful tiny dinosaurs. Here's a, what looks like a raptor of some sort. Predator of some sort. It's red too, so it's gotta be. Oh, look at this. The round marker is a I love dinos meeple. I love dinos coffee mug. We have some like resource tokens. So like little crates, little fences, fences. I'm assuming they're fences. Uh, barriers of what we call them there. Uh, those are, okay, so the red are the allosauruses. The green 
are the velociraptors and you can tell that of the little claw, <laughs> like a giant turkey. The yellow are stegosauruses and they come with 15 of each of those dinosaurs. And then the blue are the brachiosauruses, they're Jurassic Park sneezers. And then there are purple and these represent different unique dinos, different types of dinos here, but these are all unique special dinosaurs. Let me get these on camera for you. Those are some of the unique dinosaurs, examples of those. We have a first player token, and we have some rancher meeples, rancher meeples, plant markers for those, one for each player. We've got meat markers. These are the supply markers, which I've shown. Some more meeples, ranchers, and I believe there are two different sizes, almost like a grande meeple and a smaller meeple. Okay, lead ranchers are the big ones, and then these are your regular ranchers are the small ones. And I think that represents all of the tokens in the game. Here's a die. You get a six-sided dice, it's your Wrangler die. These are engraved into the die and then painted. And it wouldn't be a tiny epic game without some tiny epic sized cards. What's still nice is it's still linen finish. Good size, we have a round marker, phases, and we have the player board. So these are the ones that are going to be set aside to create the, uh, the player area, the play area, worker placement spots, get your contracts, and then you get into your ranch. This is where you build your ranch and you're gonna gain resources based on what's on your ranch. And there's the player boards for the four different players with the resource tracker around the perimeter. As always, Tiny Epic, Gambling Games does not leave you wanting for quality. They do a great job of component quality. So that encompasses the base set. Now let's get into the player mat. Something I picked up from uh, Game Nerds actually. A standard neoprene mat, like a uh, mouse pad mat. Tiny Epic Dinosaurs in the corner. You've got your location for components, research cards, action mats, uh, solo player spots, contracts. This is pretty. Looking forward to getting this one to the table on a video for you. So if this is something you enjoyed, if Tiny Epic is something uh, that you want us to do more games of so you can see more gameplay of it, please be sure to like and comment below. Let me know if this is something that you'd like to see more of. Is it a game that you enjoy? Uh, what should I be looking at? or looking into or thinking about as I get into my first plays of Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. I'm Carlos, Beans and Dice Podcast. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the Beans and Dice Podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe.